It's a beautiful fall day with beautiful colors. My favorite tree that I have. And um, it is now currently raining just a little bit. So I'm happy. I decided to do a fun project for my mantle and I hope that you enjoy it. I did start doing it before I began recording. So it is a project already in progress. I do hope that you enjoy the video though. If you do, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification button at the bottom so that you can get your emails for whenever I post a new video. And I do wanna say one more thing. I will be posting a link in the description box for um, an actual template for this project that I've done. So be sure to go to my website through that link and get your free downloadable and I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. Okay, so I'm just going to start drawing. And I know the shapes of the T, so the T is simply just a shape of a line with a curve. So I'm just gonna start there. I'm not gonna even fill it in yet. And an H is two parts. An H is a loop and then a hump. Because I think I want to connect it here, I think I'm going to start my loop coming off of the T. Loop. Okay. Can I see that? Yeah. Loop. And then a hump. So it's just like a little zigzag there. So that together made an H. My A, I want to try to kind of make it look like I did my G. Oh good, I'm glad I did that, that was cool. So I'm just gonna make the shape of an A. I'm gonna begin like I normally would, and I'm gonna kind of try to make it squared off like I did my G, and I will extend my A here. I'm just gonna do a straight line and then a hump for my end here. And by straight line, I mean kind of curved line. So see how that's the same sort of as the H. It's the technical term. And then the K, this is how I would normally do my H. I would normally do it with the loop like this. I'm gonna do my K and then a K is also like a connected hoop and a little tail. Whoop. Okay and then for an S it just depends on the day how I want to do it. I think do more just of like a sans serif S there and connect it like that. And so it only kind of touches. It's not like a connecting piece, but I like to do that sometimes because it sort of breaks it up. So now this is where we're going to get interesting with the G's downward Q-tip or ear thing. I don't know what the non-brand thing of an ear cute of a Q-tip is. And this is just rubbing alcohol. But you just kind of dip it in, and I sort of just sort of smudge it off just a little. It's still in there because you know it's cotton. Cotton swab. That's what it's called. But I want to make. I don't want it to be sopping wet because I just want to kind of go in there this and just sort of clean up that G down cinder descender there we go dry it off at the other side and actually I think I want to sort of just move the whole thing over I 
gotta tell you, this is what I love about lettering. I am so guilty of looking at other people's lettering and thinking, I'm never gonna be able to do that. And they just, I know they just sat down and did it and they just came, they just pulled this out of their butt and it just looks amazing. Probably everyone is mostly like me, where it's trial and error. This one's the non-permanent marker. You have to be careful. People, I only know this because I've seen other people on Instagram use the permanent marker on accident. You want to make sure that it doesn't say permanent. This one doesn't say that it's wipeable or washable, but it doesn't say that it's permanent, which is, you know, how you know. So I want to go back and do that again. I want to, I'm just going to make the curve of the G come up. I think I want to put the G in before I even put in the H. And I want that G to kind of curve the way the E does at the end. That'll give it some symmetry and also make everything kind of make sense together. Cohesiveness. Alrighty. So now I'm just playing around with this H, changing the A cinder to see if it fits in where I want it to. I decided that since I'm such a fan of mixing styles that I'm going to go ahead and do a capital sans serif H here. I'm going to draw the two ends of the H and I'm going to make them thick because they are down strokes. So I want to go in a few times and give it some weight. And then to make the H crossbar, I'm going to use the end of the T descender and just swish it across the front. Now what I want to go through and do is to fix all of the lines, make sure they're legible. I want the down strokes to be thicker, as you can see on this end the upstrokes to be thinner. I've decided that I don't like the sans serif on the S and the H, so I'm just going to go through and I'm going to add a couple of little serifs on both the H and the S. Now I'm going to add a little flourish here to the K that will give it a little bit more interest. And all I'm going to do is make the flourish and then I'm going to give it just a little bit a curve on the end, just so that it goes with E and the G. Now I'm just going back over the K and making sure that I have all of the strokes, that the down strokes are thicker, and I have it to the place where I want it. If I want to, I could add some laurel like I did on the back, or I could even add some leaves like I did before, but I think I'm gonna leave it like this. Here it is finished. I think it turned out great. And I love how it looks next to my flowers on my mantle.